All right, let's get started. Shift A, this time we're going to adding a cylinder. Usually the default number is 32. So this time we just only need 20, it should be fine. So we're gonna have that. And then just gonna hit R and hit the control key to rotate it. And uh, then I'm gonna go to the edit mode, hitting tab key and hit S, X, and just actually holding control key as well, just snap to the Grid. So this looks pretty good length that we want to use and then we are going to adding a cube shift a to adding a cube And then we are going to adding a cube shift a adding a cube right here And I just kind of GZ to grab it and right now. I'm just looking at it here. I'm trying to position into a good spot and hit s y just shrink it down g y just positioning to here. So right now it feels like if I go to the side view, it's still across the side view. So I'm going to hit G, Y, just kind of move to towards here. So I want to have some space left out. So pretty much around the, the midpoint of that. So just grab that. And same, same thing here. So I'm going to hit G, Z to just move it up. It's going to be about a like half point around this vertice. So this looks good. And now I just going to hit S X, just kind of getting some less increase. So now, you know, what we can do next is, is we're going to using the Boolean operation. However, this looks not very convenient to look at it, what's going on. So I'm going to click this cube and go to, to the property tab and come down here to the viewport display. I'm going to change the texture to the wire. So now you can see we have like a cage going on here and I'm clicking the cylinder, adding a Boolean modifier right here. And I'm going to select the using the dropper, select the, the cube. Now you can see this is what's going on and uh, how much uh, stuff that we actually cutting through the cylinder. Okay. So that's what we're going to do. It looks pretty nice. And I'm just going to hit the apply. Now I can just select the cube, hit the H key to hide it. And then I can start working on the topology and, uh, and fix this geometry. All right. So now it looks pretty good. However, this is not a really uh, optimized for the topology and also we only do the one side. So compared to the shape that we eventually want to do. So I actually need some more work with it. But before I'm doing this, I'm going to adding some loop cut control R to kind of cutting this whole thing in half. Control R one more time because we have a big ungong. That's why the loop cut didn't go through. So uh, I still can connect these two quickly. Just select these two, hit J to join them. Now this is looking fine. And go to the side view. I'm going to select these two vertices, hit J to join them. And this as well, hit J. The whole point is that we want to have a center point when we create this shape. So next, what I'm going to do is to actually delete the vertices I don't use. Alt Z, X remote, hit X to delete the vertices. Same thing here. Hit X to delete the vertices and select all that. Hit X to delete the vertices. So this is the shape that we are going to leave and then start using the mirror modifier to work on this. So go to the here, a wrench icon, come here to go to the mirror modifier. So you can see we have something going on here. And after doing this, this is the shape that we want to create. Okay, so it's pretty straightforward. Now, uh, making sure you're checking the clipping and hit come out. And yeah, it looks just nice. And I'm going to hit the apply. So now in this way, I can actually have the access to the geometry now, but I'm still going to work on this uh, quite a bit. Uh, after applying the modifier, just make everything looks easier to work with. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to definitely to having some support of geometries to making sure this uh, curve or this corner is being properly done. And about, but what we can do next is basically we can start selecting the sharp edge and working on the bevel first. So what I can do here, go to the edge selection mode and come down here, select sharp edges and you can see this so many times and that looks just fine compared to the angle we want to do and then i'm going to hit control b to bevel it okay 
So cool. So right now it's we just need to do adjusting the width, and the segment usually is two, and the shape I'm trying to stay at one in order to maintain a good shape, and making sure the middle outer is in arc, not the sharp. Okay. So cool. So that looks good. And let's type it out, and go to the vertices selection mode. I can see that we have some vertices going on here. So by now we definitely need to have some. Uh, vertices to deal with this. This is a big ngong, so it's not really acceptable. So that's something we, we need to deal with for sure. Okay. The next, I'm going to adding a loop cut, just giving more geometries to support this corner. So Control R, adding a loop cut because we have ngong, so it's actually stopped right there. So Control R, um, I can just kind of do that, Control R, adding a loop cut on here, and select these two, hit J to join them. And then now I can just select this loop cut, and same down here, Control R, adding that, select these two, hit J to join that. Now this is a complete loop, and then double G to slide over there. I'm gonna hit the E key, or F key to making sure I'm uh, sliding this properly with a, a straight line, a line together. So, okay, so that looks good. So, what I can do next, I'm just basically join some vertices, hit J to join them, and then just select this, hit J to join it. Okay, hit J to join it. So, basically, this is, has been fixed for this uh, particular loop, and Let's see how it works. And I'm probably gonna just kind of slide it over there a little bit because we are going to need more geometry on this side for sure. Control R, adding a loop cut to come back to one. So that should be good. And I'm just going to uh, fix this one as well. J, just select these two, J. And I really don't want adding a loops over there but it seems like I have nowhere to go with this one unless I'm selecting these two. Hit J to join that. And then this, we now we have a triangle going on here. So what I'm doing right now is I can just select these two, hit J to join that. Um, J to join that. Then next I'm going to cutting a loop and to kind of connect these two triangles in order to fix it the topology. Control R to do that. And then that should be good. So the next, I'm going to delete the extra vertices. I hit X to delete that. Uh, just keep the shape that uh, we want and, and apply the mirror modifier one more time in order to getting the, the good result. Okay, so that looks just good. And let's see, is anything wrong? No, I think it's just fine. And I'm gonna go to the mirror modifier here. Okay, so Alt-Z, come back to the solid mode. Looks pretty good to me. Okay, double check. All right, so what I can do here, I can just select this vertices, hit X to delete vertices. Now we have an open end, and later on we can quickly fill that with a uh, grid fill, okay? so. Select this loop cut, double G to slide over here. I think that should be come to this side. That, that's going to be good. Or I can even just control B to bevel it and to getting more even loops on this edge. Okay, so now I think it's pretty good. And let's try a subsurface modifier, control two, adding the two levels of that. Okay. I think it's working just fine. I can see that there are some shapes going on here is not that super smooth. Let's do a shade smooth. Okay, so apparently that is a, become an issue. So what I can do here is to basically select this entire loop, just then I can just select this one, hit X to dissolve the edges. And I can select this one, double G, to kind of like slide over there. So it's kind of fixed that issue with the typo typology, double G to slide over there. I think it's just getting better. 
this one double G to slide over there and yeah we have pretty decent edge right now going down here okay cool so now I can just apply the mirror modifier go to the object mode I just going to apply the mirror modifier now I can type it out and select this loop okay and what I will do next is gonna control F to do a grid fill so now I can just look at that on the side view and the change the span and also the offset I think this looks good and then what I can do here is hit I key to insert it one more time and hit I key to insert it more time and adding a couple loops so that should be good and then the next thing I need to do deal with is to actually fixing this ngong right there we have a big ngong right here so let's see how many vertices we need to deal with one two three four uh, I'm going to create four loop cut control R one two three four okay so I'm just going to join these J Hit these two, hit J to join it. J. J. Okay, so that is looking good. However, we have a triangle over here. This can be easily fixed. So we can just do a another loop cut right here. Just cut it in the middle. Um, so that should be fine. Double G to slide over there. So everything's nice and beautiful. If you really want to having a more decent looks on here, you can actually getting couple more loops to support here on this okay so this looks pretty good for me all right so I know we only did one side so what we're going to do next we're going to use the, the mirror modifier did it one more time to to kind of duplicate it the shape that we want Hit X to delete the vertices these two X vertices and let's see and hit select all that X delete the vertices now what we can do is to creating the mirror modifier one more time okay come here mirror modifier making sure you move the mirror modifier above the subsurface modifier and the click the check the clipping all right so now let's see so we have all the geometries been mirrored to the proper place that looks very good okay so we can hit up now we can go back to object mode hit apply so this is going to be our final model that we created we can do a quick double check so we're going to the face selection mode uh, let's go select uh, select by trade and face by sizes so if I hit number four, everything's equal to four. All right. And uh, anything greater than four? No. Anything less than four? No either. So this is perfectly done and everything is in qua. Okay. All right. This is everything I want to share in this video. If you enjoyed this video, making sure you hit likes and subscribe and uh, leave comments if you have any questions. All right. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.